There's nothing like sitting in a fucking $300,000 exotic to go uh, 27 miles an hour. Yay, L.A. Hey guys, I am at the beautiful Pendry Hotel and Residences here in West Hollywood, California. And the good people at McLaren have been kind enough to lend me the all new McLaren GT. I think is one of the most stunning looking cars I have ever seen. Stunning, beautiful design, incredibly comfortable to drive. And I'm gonna take it out here in the great city of Los Angeles today while trucks drive by. Back in LA, baby. I don't live here anymore. 19 years and I left. I have so many good memories of LA. I met my wife here. I had two kids here. Like, I mean, this is where like podcasting exploded, which is such a huge part of my life now, you know? I remember the first time I ever did uh, Rogan's podcast. It's like one of the first five JREs. And I went to his house and he's like, hey, uh, we're gonna have a conversation. Just like talk into this mic. And we sat on a couch in his office. And he's like, uh, hey man, just sit forward. You keep sitting back too much. I, I kept getting off mic. And then we finished that. And I, uh, his producer at the time, Red Band, was like, uh, walked me out. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Rolls Royce tried to flex on me, dude. Bitch. Then there's things that you realize can like only happen in LA. I jumped Robert Forrester's car. Now he had, he'd been in like a hundred movies. I jumped his car on Super Bowl Sunday in 2002. He had this BMW Z4 and it was like crooked in the middle of the street. I recognized him and I was like, you want me to jump you? And he was like, oh, I really appreciate that, man. I had a nice conversation with him. He was like, what do you do? I'm a comedian. He's like, oh yeah. He goes, are you on HBO? I was like, you don't have to fucking start with that. No. I do bringer shows, the cat club on Sunset. <laughs> I was like, fuck, man. Went to a party in, the, in this really nice enclave in like the hills. Next door to the lady lived this Middle Eastern guy who I later learned was an arms dealer. Across the street from them lived Matthew McConaughey. And it was one of those things where you're, you know, you hear that in LA, you're like, you know who lives there? And then you just, you see the house, but you never see the person. And we go to the arms dealer's house and he's having a party. And then Matthew McConaughey walks up in swim trunks and goggles that are on his head and nothing else. And then, then this chick's like, oh my God, you're Matthew McConaughey. He's like, yeah. She goes, how do you spell McConaughey? And he goes, that's a good question. That's how you start a conversation with a famous guy. How do you spell your name, dude? I've seen it printed everywhere and on posters, but how do you spell it? Only in LA, man. It has a four liter twin turbocharged V8 producing 612 horsepower. They claim a zero to 60 time of 3.2 seconds and a top speed of 203 miles an hour, which you can hit really comfortably in this seat. I flew next to so many famous people, mostly black, all out of LA. Omarion, Serena Williams, Mike Tyson, Jill Scott, Method Man. Only in LA. Southern California provided me the opportunity to work with like everybody. Like I opened for so many people just working the SoCal improvs, you know, like Hollywood, Brea, Irvine, Ontario, Bob Saget, Charlie Murphy, uh, Jay Moore, Joe Rogan, uh, Russell Peters, John Witherspoon, honestly countless, countless comics, like, and it was all in that system. And that all happened because of Southern California and specifically Los Angeles. I had a, a neighbor get murdered. That doesn't happen everywhere. I woke up 
uh, it was like one o'clock in the morning and my roommate was standing over me and I was like, what in the fuck? And he goes, did you hear that? And I go, clearly not. You just woke me up. And then within, I don't know, 20 minutes, LAPD homicide detectives were knocking on our door. Apparently, uh, our neighbor directly across the street was killed in his driveway with a pump action shotgun and he was shot seven times. So they were like, yeah, they definitely reloaded. And I was like, oh. And then they asked us questions about him and I was like, I don't, I don't know. And uh, turns out he was into selling illegal substances and somebody was mad at him. You know, ultimately, I do love Los Angeles. I really do. A lot of people shit on LA. People think when you say LA, you mean Hollywood. And they think when you say Hollywood, that you mean like red carpets and show business. And you know, if you're an Angelino, you know that's not what LA is about at all. But I love this place. I still come back here all the time. And where else can you sit in this kind of traffic? There's nothing like sitting in a fucking $300,000 exotic to go uh, 27 miles an hour. Yay, LA. Yeah. That's the other thing about LA. I did shows everywhere. I did show, hold on. Oh shit, it's the wife. Hey babe. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, just driving right now. We're um, just filming something. Oh yeah, what are you filming? Um, just uh, this video in this McLaren, shooting a, like a, one of those content things I do. What do you? What McLaren? Uh, this is the uh, all new 2021 McLaren GT that they let me have for the weekend. But you okay? You never mentioned that to me. I didn't know that you wanted to know that. Well, yeah, because last time you had a McLaren. Uh, you were doing 180 miles per hour on the 10 freeway, so... No, I was not. Little... No, I was not. First of all, I was doing 150, and it was on the 110, so you're wrong twice right there. Okay. Well, I do find it a little suspicious that you omitted the fact that you were getting another McLaren. Today. I didn't... Okay. I didn't omit anything. They just dropped it off, and they said, we don't know what to do with this car. Can you please use it? And I was like, okay. And Can so, you please use it? Yeah, they were like, no one will drive this. So I was like, I'll drive it. You so, know, you already broke half your fucking body this year. Do you think you could cool it? Yes, I am. All right. But First of all, I'm going 37. Now? Yeah. What, where are you driving it? I'm taking it out to uh, Willow Springs, to the track. Oh, for fuck's sake, Tom. Nah. <laughs> I'm not. We're just driving. We're just going to the hotel. It's totally fine. No one's. There's no nothing oh, fast is happening. Well, I don't believe you anymore. <laughs> I'm driving carefully. I promise. Okay. Well, how much is your life insurance now? Um, I think I forgot to make a payment, so I don't know if I even have any right now. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to pick out a new daddy for the kids. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and their daddy comes back in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't make me not their dad anymore if I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'd no, st you'd still be, be their dad. You'd be, you'd be crippled dad. Right. Who do stuff them, and then I'd have to find a new dad who's able-bodied for a ball. That's, that. that is not how handicapped marriages work, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everybody okay. still stays in their role, and they're just like, I just have a disability. Do you, do you not love me anymore? Okay. okay. Well, um, thank you for the call. We're driving very carefully. We're following all the rules of Los Angeles County. You better. I'm going to... You better. I am. I'm going to be real fucking pissed. Um, it was... I'm not, if you break yourself, no detouches right here. Driving super slow right now. Okay. I love you. I love be you. Safe. Thank you for the call.